Hi, I'm Katie Busher from Children's Hospital Colorado, and MRI Safety Week is a great time to talk about a recent safety case we had at our facility. We had a 14-year-old girl for an MRI of the abdomen. She showed up, filled out all their screening forms properly, answered no, no, no to everything, changed into her hospital gown. The technologist did the verbal screening and all the responses were no, no, no to that as well. So the technologist took her over to the feral guard whole body feral magnetic detection screener. At this point it turns red and the tech's thinking, okay, she obviously didn't take something off. She's got some metal on. Recheck the patient, no, nothing. Tried to pre-screen her again and it still turned red. So the technologist walked her over to the handheld Magnovis wand and did this scan, 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 nothing, no alarms. So they proceeded into zone three. When they got up to zone four, the Assure system turned red and they got an audible alarm. So the technologist stopped, backed up, reassessed, asked all the screening questions again. The patient and the father denied any, any mental implants, any surgeries. So the tech's thinking, okay, it's kind of strange, but I'll try it again. So the tech tries to go in the room again and has the same results. At this point, she calls the radiologist and says, my feral guard is alarming and I don't know why, but I can't get this girl past the door. So the radiologist says, let's get an abdomen x-ray. They get an abdomen x-ray and it's negative. Don't see any sort of foreign body at all. The tech tries one more time, can't get the patient past the door. So at this point, it's decided, let's stop for the day, let's reschedule the patient, do some more research and find out what's going on. So the patient rescheduled, came back a week or so later to, she came to our main campus at that time, did the screening, all the same, no, no, no. Did the pre-screener on the wall, It'll, it's red. And we're like, what? You know, there's obviously something going on here. So the talked to the radiologist and the radiologist said, well, let's get a chest. We didn't do a chest x-ray or a skull x-ray. Let's skip that and let's cover all the bases. So the chest x-ray is done, the skull x-ray is done. Get the x-rays back and on the skull, on each side of the nasal septum, we can see something metal. And we're like, well, okay, that's the answer right there. So we radiologist talks to the patient and starts questioning the patient, hey, will we see something up here in your nose? And at this point, the girl says, oh, I was with a friend when we were playing with some little magnets and I may have inhaled them. So there's your answer right there. And that was like two years prior. So she'd had these little magnets up in her nose for two years. She had to take a little trip to ENT to get those removed. The ENT doctor said that they had started to erode the nasal septum. So she was pretty lucky that we found those and she was able to get them removed. She did then have a successful MRI of her abdomen. The father was so thankful of our screening practices and for the work that we do here because we stood strong and refused to scan her because we didn't know our detection system was alarming and we didn't know why and we weren't going to scan this patient until we had the answer. If she would have went to another facility that didn't have an insurer or any sort of ferromagnetic detection system, what would have happened to her? They would have went through the whole process, they would have followed her screening form and the verbal and went with the, everyone's word on nothing and put her in the magnet and it could have probably caused definitely pain and I don't know what kind of injury to the patient so we're very fortunate that we have the ferromagnetic detection system, we use it, we trust the results, we trust the tools that we use to do our job and that's the most important thing that you need to remember always every day in MRI is be safe, practice your safety policies to a T, be consistent, and if your feral detection system says there's something going on, there is. So that's our story. Thanks.